Prince Arthur of Connacht was born on the 13th of January, 1883. He was the only son of Prince Arthur, Duke of Connacht, and Princess Louise Margaret of Prussia. He had two siblings, Margaret and Patricia. Arthur grew up in Bagshock Park and had a quiet childhood. He was educated at home before he attended Eton College. Following this, Arthur received his military education at the Royal Military College in Sandhurst and was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the 7th Hussars in 1901. Arthur fought in the Second Boer War and the First World War. He reached the rank of Honorary Major General in 1920. When Arthur's cousin, George V, succeeded to the British throne in 1910, Arthur and his father were the most senior male members of the British royal family over the age of 18 who were living in the United Kingdom. And as such, they undertook a number of royal duties on behalf of the king and the royal family. Arthur also acted as a councillor of state when George V was out of the country. On the 15th of October 1913, Arthur married Princess Alexandra, second Duchess of Fife. Alexandra was a granddaughter of Edward VII. Because Alexandra's father had died in 1912, Alexandra's uncle, the king, gave her away. They had one son together, Alistair, who was born in 1914. In 1917, George V restricted the titles of Prince and Princess and the style of Royal Highness, and from 1917, Alistair was styled with the courtesy title of Earl of Macduff. From 1920 to 1923, Arthur was Governor General of South Africa. Upon returning to the United Kingdom, he supported several charitable organisations and served as a chairman on the board of directors of the Middlesex Hospital. Arthur was also an active Freemason and served as Provincial Grand Master for Berkshire in 1924. In the 1930s, Arthur was diagnosed with stomach cancer. He eventually died on the 12th of September 1938 at the age of 55. He was interred at St George's Chapel and then transferred to the Royal Burial Ground in Frogmore in 1939. Alistair became his grandfather's heir to the Dukedom of Connacht and Strathern, which he succeeded to in 1942, following his grandfather's death.